at uh, Malls and Hobbies for you. And who do we have here? I have Chris Hale here. And, and who's this? And Frank Morgan, Frank Morgan, Morgan here. Yeah. Yeah. And we are Models, Models and, and Hobbies for you. <laughs> How's the weekend been? It's been absolutely throbbing. And that's just my feet. Wow. <laughs> You've got some customers too, haven't you? Yeah, we've had. We've got well, an absolute ton yeah. of stuff. So yeah, It's been an awesome weekend. Really yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Because I remember when I came in here when you're setting up. Yeah. This was high, right? Yeah, it was and it's all yeah. down low yeah, now. It was a mountain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that means there's been a lot of punters in. Yeah, it's so been, so it's been very, a, very busy. It's, it's been another successful. Events. And the standard yeah. of uh, craftsmanship on the tables, I don't think it's ever been as good. No, it's been pretty good, isn't it? It's been this yeah, year. I've been looking around. Yeah. Absolutely staggering. So I think they were saying there's somewhere around about 700 plus entries this year, which okay. is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what they were for. Right. And considering their current economic conditions, that's pretty good. And yeah. crowd turn up has been really good too. Yeah, it looks so like it. Lots of people come through. And that's lots of good. old friends coming through as well. Yeah, lots yeah, of people yeah that's seen right. In years like, and yes, like, yes. Yeah. Like and it's good. Hobby shop owner and modelers week. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's like a crusty's weekend. <laughs> isn't it? It's good <laughs> that the expo's <laughs> back. It's back on the the. Back on the right weekend. That's right. The King's Birthday weekend. Now we yeah, call that's it. That's right. Yeah. Everything's yeah. perfect. Yeah. So we, it's yeah. Monday. So last day is being Monday, and I think it works better. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you've does, got the does. Friday night for yeah. people to enter and then the Saturday yeah. morning yeah. and that's when all the punters start coming through, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So it's all been good. No, it's been Excellent. Been no complaints. And um, hopefully they'll uh, be able to run it next year without yeah. any hassles. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, they've been doing a really good job for, yeah. for yeah. so many years um, already. Yeah. yeah, other than my smelly socks, there's nothing to complain about, is there? No, I can't. I washed mine this morning. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I only have one pair. <laughs> Oh man, you're in a bad way. poor old retailers, you know. <laughs> you're in a bad way. So this weekend, what's been the hot item? Oh, I, I've had a lot of um, stuff I brought in for the show. Right. Like I did last year, damaged yep. stock, all brand new, in uh, brand new kits and damaged boxes. Yep. Pretty much all at half price. Right. So the Australian um, Sea Fury, of course. Oh has been going like crazy yeah nice and then i had so many of these yeah and uh oh nice i mean they yet again a half price so yeah oh you can't go wrong can you it's gone crazy uh, like, my, my, <coughs> even <coughs> snowy mountain models come around here oh, all right. <laughs> uh, who's he who's he who's he ringing <laughs> well most people building these things don't care about the box do they no they don't care about the no box, that's no. right the thing is, well, we, uh, we've sold an awful lot of really big scale stuff too. Which yeah. Okay, really good. Quite yeah. A few really large kits. Even yep. Frank got a big uh, eight scale E type. Couldn't help himself. Oh, did you? Shh. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Oh, that's yeah, a bit of a classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. 64th scale, was yes. Yeah. Well, look at the stand. I mean, the stand's yeah. pretty big. Yeah, yeah. Got lots no, of stuff. Oh, it's been great. It's been a wonderful. It's been uh, very handy being so close to the toilets. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh. know our age, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Excellent. No, it's yeah. good. Glad it's, it's been, been successful. Yeah, it's thanks been for Thank you. Thanks, mate. No worries. Thank you, thanks again. Uh, thanks for your time as well. No worries. Yeah, thanks, guys. Cheers. So, uh, brilliant. We'll see you next year. Alrighty. Hello, we're at Model Expo 2024. With Jack, and we've spoken to you, Jack, before, haven't we? Yeah, I think we've spoken about these cars on live show before. I think yes. maybe, maybe not the Aston Martin. Aston? Yeah, the Aston I don't think I've brought into the shop before. Oh, you probably haven't. Yeah, just the yeah, yeah. Mercedes and the McLaren. Okay, so this 300 SL, I can see it's got a third place. How good yeah, is that? Yeah, that's well done. Good. I mean, there's a ton of entries in this category this year. So, so that yes. Aston, you talk about that green Aston at the back there. Yeah, exactly. Is that the Tamir one? Yeah, that's the really rare Tamir kit. Oh, okay. So, oh, I don't think I have seen that. No, it's got some I, nice yeah. reflections coming off it. Yeah, it's, it, the paint's really nice. What colour did you put on it? So it's actually the Mr. Colour metallic green, like just the basic metallic green. Is it the GX ones or all the no, no, regular, just, regular just ones? No, the Mr. Colour. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Did you do anything special with undercoats or anything? Uh, I think it would have just been grey primer, grey Tamiya primer. Oh, it's turned then, out really well. Yeah, exactly. And then 2K clear over the top, obviously. Yes. My favourite. Your favourite 2K. Exactly. Is that your long tail as well? Yeah, that, yeah, that's mine. Oh, the yeah. long tail McLaren. Yeah, that's the one that's been in the shop. 
So it's like a really complicated five stage paint job. And I, I think we went over it on the live show if whoever's watching wants to go back. Well, maybe, maybe we talked about it, I can't remember it. But okay. it looks awesome. I can, I can go over what I did, yeah. if I remember. So yeah, so what did you do? It was just like a silver base, clear orange, uh, yep. to me a clear orange lacquer. Yep. Then to me a clear orange mixed with clear red over that, just to deepen it. Oh, really? Bit, make it a little bit more red. Yes, and yes. And then it was like an orange pearl. It was like a McLaren like color matched paint. I can't remember what it was or what it's called. Right. And then 2K over that. So it's like a five stage paint job. All right. Yeah, so there you go. It, it took a ton of time, but nice. it, it turned out really nice. So, yeah. yeah. No, it does look really good. Yeah. So you're, you're, you love your cars, right? Absolutely. So out of all the cars on this table, how many have you got here? Well, three in this category. Oh, okay. So those yeah. three all basically bunched up together there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they look really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty tough, yeah. There's a lot yeah, of cars. Yeah, a ton of, ton of entries. And in the curbside last year, I think there were like five entries, and this year there's like 25. So. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's oh, well. a ton more competition. It's a bit tough, eh? Yeah, exactly. A bit tough. Yeah. I think decent result overall, so. Yeah. But, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. Well, if we've got time, should we go and have a look at Jack's really big thing? I think, I think Let's go. Yeah. So this thing right here, right? Yeah. So this is Jack's really massive 12 scale Ming MP44. Exactly, so it's a brand new kit that came out mid last year and it's really, really nice. Now you put some extras on this, right? Yeah, but most, most got, of it is still standard? It's got a little bit of aftermarket on it, just right. mostly like fittings and braided wire and whatnot. Yep. But otherwise it's mostly out of the box. So it comes with carbon fiber decals and... Oh, it comes with those? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Wow. You don't have to get them separately. It's kind of photo etch as well? A little bit of photo etch for the radiators. Oh, and, yeah. And, the seatbelt buckles as well. Nice. But it's, there's not a ton of photo edge, most of it's plastic. You built this really quick from my memory. Oh, uh, no, it actually, I had some issues with the paint, so it took me a few extra months. But oh, yeah, I okay. started it probably September last year and finished it at the end of January this year. So it did take me a little while. But That's still pretty yeah. quick for yeah. most people. Oh, yeah. Like, how long does it take me to build something? <laughs> a little while. <laughs> That's right, it's not finished. No, that's really good. And you came, what is that, third? Third as well. So you got so, two thirds. Yeah, so yeah, good is Scott, it? the judge, was saying that this was a, he judges category. He said it was super competitive. And right. It was a really hard decision. So well, there like, does seem to be a lot of big cars, isn't it? Yeah, well, last year there were three. So, I mean, by yes. default, you just win. Yes, suddenly. yes, yes. So this year there's a lot more. So. Well, you should be really happy then. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a pretty good result. And my, my friend, well, one of the guys from the club, Steve, came second. He just beat me. So that's really nice. His P34. Yeah, the six wheel is clean. Yeah, exactly. And then an MP46, similar car, one first. Yes, so yes, that one's just over there. That's the Tamir kit. There's a lot of work in that yeah, one, exactly. isn't it? There's a ton of detail. That one's really nice. Well, I'm a, I'm a bit, um, I don't know, conflicted because I've got a car to finish. And do I put it in his class next year or do I put it in dioramas? I don't know. Good Haven't question. quite worked that one out yet. Oh, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to see when you finish we'll it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's if you finish for next year. It will be finished. What do you mean? I've already oh, promised. I about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll it's important. All right, All thanks, right. Jack. Thanks. Well done again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good stuff. who has done very well and you've entered quite a few times. Uh, this is my second time over here, but I've entered in South Australia quite a few times. So you're fairly well known then? Yeah, well from last time, winning la what's last time, right. to winning now, so when they see me now they go, well he's that South Australian guy. Oh, so to everyone who doesn't know you, what yeah. is your full name? Um, my full name is Scott Kilford and I'm from South Australia, from the Satmar Club. And you do some really good work, we've seen your work in the past. Yes. And this year, you've got some brilliant work I've, too. I've got two motorbikes and this Ferrari motor entered, so. So th this engine. Yes. Which we're having a close look at at the moment. Yep. This is one first prize. Yes. And I can see why. There's a lot of work involved. Correct. And it's 3D printed um, 
the base of it's 3D printed. Right. Which is in, which is the crank, um, yep. the case, the the sub, all all the rocker covers, all the covers. But a lot of the pipe work, as you can see in the top, is all made from um, brass and stainless steel. So you scratch build all that? Yes, because the 3D prism is not straight enough. Right. And it's not worth trying to correct it to get a, a successful result. Plus so, so metal we're... is always better to see than a painted metal. Yeah. So, um, so where do you get these 3D prints from? Is there someone okay. that specializes in them? This guy was, um, is a, isn't German. Right. Um, it's from Germany. Yep. He, he mainly builds just one-off models, but every right. now and then he'll build a subject that he likes, and right. he'll, he'll release four or five of the kits. Oh, that's all? Yeah, so he doesn't release very oh, right. many of them. So, so, so who's this guy? If anyone wants um, to try to get one. Mart Martin, Michael, Michael Vitt, I think his name is. Oh, so he, um, doesn't, he doesn't really have a business as nah, such? Nah, he, he's on YouTube. Oh, right. Uh, not YouTube, uh, Facebook. Facebook. Um, but he, a lot of he's at the moment currently doing a really very very highly detailed Porsche 18 the, se the 72 Lotus. Right. Yep. But people keep asking me, are you going to bring it out as a kit? And he right. says no, no, no. So right. he kind of builds for commissions. Yes. But he does every now and then bring out what he likes to do. So oh, okay. That big Ducati that you saw two years yes, ago yes. had his kit on it. Right. So he did a Ducati kit. Oh, for a okay. Poster. Right, fair enough. So, so we with that cover off it, right? Yes. So that was all 3D printed and Correct. what about the belt and stuff? Yep, that's all 3D printed as oh, well. Oh, is it? So it's being painted to look like rubber. Right. Um, well, you've done a really good job of it. And if you look at natural rubber, it's not black. It's no. actually got blue and a green in it. Yes, yes. So I kind of mixed mixed it and got it to look look more natural. Yep. Um, the, the, the red head part, which yep. is always the speckled look on the Ferrari. Yes. That's uh, micro balloons. Oh, is that like, how you got that texture? Yes, but it's sprayed and it's put in very right. thick and sprayed through a one mil needle from right. a distance of about three feet. Right, so, so it, it gets all speckled. It, yeah, and speckled oh, it. so you're getting, you're getting it to set off while yeah, it's in the air. Yeah. So it so gets it rougher. On it. Yeah. Because I was looking at that yeah. trying to work out how you got that rough texture. And the casting effect yes. is um, bumper bar plastic spray spray from about two foot away. Bumper so, bar? Yeah, so it lays a texture on it. Yes. And then I paint it over that texture. Oh, right. And oh, wow. All the piping yes. all, all is um, just electrical pipes. Right. Electrical wire, yep. electrical um, heat shrink. Yep. But it's been buffed, so it gives it a rubber look rather than a plastic look. Oh, wow. So, so I guess a lot of these techniques, you've just been experimenting correct. to get the right and, look. And that's what it is all about. I was, yep. I was trying to get the right textures yes. for a scale of a quarter scale yep because you can most model paints are too fine yes it's too fine and it, it looks like it's just been painted yes yes so it was the texture thing that took me a long time to get oh, wow. a lot of experimenting yeah and i use wow. big needles to push the material through yes to get that 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 look yep to it and the rest is like real wire real wire real yes. bolt nuts and bolts and threads yes. um real gaskets it's actually got proper paper laser cut gaskets right. in it. So all the heads have all got gaskets in it. Yep. Um, a wired the armature because from being from model cars, and they had to wind the armatures. So <laughs> okay, nice. I wound the armature. Yeah, cool. So you can see the copper. The, this really functions, but I locked it up so I can sit on the base properly. So it oh, yeah, you lock around. You, you lock yeah, the casters? So, yeah. Oh, really? Because they can actually move around. I just tied oh, them wow. up really tight. Um, Amazing. So I can, have you seen the back? I'll turn it around. It's got a full, full clutch. Oh, clutch. Yeah, it's got a full clutch in the, the main drive gear on the right. back. So it's got all the clutch plates in it. All the firing sequences are correct as well. That's what the little stickers all are. Oh, really? Firing sequence, yeah. So I've actually added more wiring than his pitch, than the actual manual shows. Right. But I actually had a Ferrari manual to build it with. Okay, so, so you know of the real one. Yeah, so I used okay. a lot of the real stuff. Yeah, beautiful. That is amazing work. Thank you. And very well deserved of a first place. Thank you very much. And also I, best paint. Yeah, best paint. Too. Yeah, of course. With all those techniques <laughs> you just explained, I can yeah. understand why. 
it's just a, it was all about different techniques. So yes. I enjoyed experimenting and all, all that. So well, this aluminium, that's um, a white aluminium, which was actually a lighter aluminium than the normal alley that they made the car from. Right. That's the reason why it looks more of a finish, a better finish than the casting of the blocks and all oh, that. Okay. So, because the Ferrari originally, the heads, the reason why they're speckled was their casting was that bad in the original motors. That oh, they was that rough? Yeah, it was that oh, rough. Really? They decided to paint it and then it's become a feature of the actual Ferrari. Oh, right. So, oh, there you that's go. how they got the rough look. Oh, so, you learn something new all the time. Yes. Wow. Yeah, congratulations Thank again. Really much. awesome work. Thank you. And we'll look forward to seeing what you bring next year. Uh, oh, yeah, a couple of years away. Oh, a couple of years. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, I we'll see you next time around. Build models now. Oh, fair enough. <laughs>
It's, it's oh, great. Well, I have to find some more info about that and I'll share it around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, if you spoke to the guys here, they'd definitely be able to give yeah. you all the good info. Yeah, sure. cool, we'll do, we'll do. So what do you thought of Expo 2024 so far? Well, I've enjoyed it. Yep. I've, I've, I've found it's maybe been a little bit quieter right. than normal. Like, yeah, I've heard to that me, from a few people. To me, it hasn't looked like it's been as busy. Mm -hmm. um, Sales-wise, I'm still happy. Okay. Um, I'm not stressing. Yeah, good. You know? Good. Um, but overall, it's always a good show, and I've come here this year just to enjoy the show. You didn't not, put any entries in? Um, I did put some entries okay. in and yep. whatnot. So but you're not stressing? No. Yeah, good. No. Good. Stressing, I no just good. came here this year just thinking, like, don't come here and stress. Just come here, enjoy the weekend. Yes. Enjoy catching up with people that you haven't seen for a year or yes. you know a couple of years. Yeah, for sure. And then and then just go from there. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And it, it is good show here. Yeah. Um, so I thought it was a bit light on the models, but I've been told that it's actually not. Yeah, they've just no. Spread it out with extra tables. I was just talking to Daryl before about I like the idea that they spread all the different categories around. Yeah. Like you don't have armor just in one army area. You know, a lot of people tend to congregate around aircraft and stuff. Yeah. And it makes everyone walk around and look at everything else. It's really good. Yeah. And you see the spread now. There's people everywhere. It's spread everywhere, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's and, good. And, and that could be also why it looks like it's thin of people, but oh, yeah, it could be. because they're spread out further. No, that's true. But, yeah. but regardless, it's been a great weekend. Everyone's happy. Yep. You know, no one's been getting around, getting angry and stroppy no. about something. No, no, you don't need that. Maybe this afternoon once the awards <laughs> hit or something. I don't know. No, it'll be all right. But, yeah, um, very good. But it's been, it's been really good. It's been yeah, really good. Cool. And I think your, your range of stuff is like, it's more diverse than I've ever seen it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to mix it up. Right. So there yeah. are brands, every year there's maybe a brand that I drop yep. and I bring a new brand in. Yeah, keep it fresh. And sort of try to keep it fresh. There are yeah. some brands that will always just sell. So I always, yes. uh, like your, yes. your items like your young miniatures. Yeah, you can't go wrong with those. Can um, you? And then life miniatures. Yeah, really they're, they're always bringing out some great stuff, and I, they just released their new machine gunner. Mm. Uh, it's such a beautiful piece. Yes. There's already quite a few starting to pop up on um, social media. Yeah, finished pieces. And the other one, which are really special, I'll sort of show you the, the artwork, because you can't really see the oh, figure. Wow. But um, Spirit Mirabilis. So that's very um, fantasy type stuff. That's fantasy stuff. Right. Very limited edition. Oh, okay. So they operate on a, a 48 hour bracket to order it. Right. So if you don't order it in that 48 hours, it's not going to go to shops unless shops order multiple. Yep. Which I order generally a few. Yep. And normally keep one for myself because right. I do collect them. Yes. Um, and then and then sell yeah, some nice. to the public that may have missed out. So right. and they're they're quite exclusive. So yeah, nice. It's it's nice to be able to be able to get them. Yeah. And just sort of give them a bit more exposure, and then people may then start subscribing to their. Mm pages yes and then get the emails yes of here's a new piece and then they can order it themselves like, that's right that, and that's what keeps these sculptures I'm not keep going to keep right? it, yeah i'm not trying to keep it that they just keep coming to me yeah 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 you know, they can get it when it first gets released okay fantastic yeah cool just about keeping the community thriving and trying to um show all brand new products yep and as new products come out i'm always reaching out to new new brands and saying yes. hey I'm Australian, small business. Yes. Love to carry your item. Yes. Are you interested? So, yes. see how we go. Yeah, for sure. And so far, it's been good. You know, I've always no, been good. able to um, get people on board. Yeah, excellent. All right, thanks very much. No, no worries. Thanks for speaking to us pleasure. again. Yes. And well, hopefully we'll see you again next year. Um, We'll see. We'll see. Thinking All about right. going over to Malaysia next year. Oh, Malaysia? That's a big one, isn't yeah. it? Same weekend. I've always wanted to go. Yeah, it's a shame it's the same weekend. Yes. But it's something I've always wanted to go to. But it's an opportunity to meet the suppliers that I buy that's from. That's right, that's because right. Because you're going to have young young miniatures, white yes, miniatures. they'll be there. Nuts Planet, yes. they're all there. Yes, that's right. And then it's also a chance to meet new guys mm. face to face and go, hey, I may be interested in carrying your product. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah, you've got to open up your horizons. Crack. Yeah, next step, yeah? Yeah, yeah next good step. stuff. We'll see what happens. Excellent. I also do 3D as well now. Right. Um, I have none here. Um, what do you mean you print it? So we've... Now I've got commercial licenses for certain products. Right. And we're slowly getting on top of that by painting all the samples so that we've got them advertised on the website. Yes. And then we'll be able to supply 
some very nice 3D printed items. Oh, okay, cool. So I've Doing got a, yeah. I've got a, another person that does all the printing. Yes. And um, he does a phenomenal job. Yep. Um, good friend of mine, Tim. So he will take care of that side. Yep. And you would do the sales side. I just do the sales, but yeah. we still work together. Okay, good. So yeah, partnership. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Sort of like more his his niche. Yes. Riding on the spec mod logo. Yeah, so yeah. Use okay. that to produce the sales. Yeah, good. Yeah, we'll see well how done. it goes. Yeah. New oh, yeah, direction. Exciting. 3D exciting. printing is. Oh, it's come a long way. It's come a long way. Yeah. I don't think it's ever going to take over, but. But for, it's for, getting stronger and stronger. For and low stronger. production stuff, you can't beat it, can you? No. Nah. Yeah. And the good thing is, I don't have to carry physical stock. Yes. Yes. Someone orders it. I yes. go, no worries. Call Tim. Yeah. Okay, okay, we've got two prints. Yes. And he'll go, right, I'm on it. Yeah. He'll get the prints. I get them. We yes. ship them off. Yes. Done. Yeah. No, that's definitely a future, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. Good luck. So, good luck with that venture. See how it goes. I think it's going to be good. Very for you. early. Very early teething days at yeah, the moment. Yeah. Oh, exciting uh, news. We've done some already. We've done a couple. No yeah. one's complained. They've all been happy. So yeah, good. That's a good thing. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Okay, cool. All right, no all worries. Thanks again for talking to again. us. Sorry about that. Cheers, no worries. Cheers. Thank you. Gundams Plus at Model Expo, and I'm with Daryl, and Hi. we did an interview last year, and we yes. thought we better interview you again. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it good? How, nice have you, how have you found this expo this year? Um, numbers are down on competition a bit, um, a few traders short, mm -hmm. but I'm surprised the number of people coming through. It's still a bit of a buzz, isn't it? It's definitely a buzz this year, yeah, yeah. yeah. and the standard of models is just sensational. Yeah, the, the quality's really picked up, hasn't it? It has. Yeah, I'm for surprised. sure. Um, it's B24 over here next to us. Just yeah, some really big stuff. Yeah, we yeah. took we took footage of all this really big stuff here. Mm. Yeah, no, people have actually spent you know a lot of effort in yeah. the models. Um, I was pleased to see the wooden ships back. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I'm looking at a galleon at the moment that's got lights on in the captain's cabin. So yes, some of the some of the stuff, the attention to detail this year is superb. No, yeah. definitely, definitely. And I like how the um, the arrangement's been changed around. Yes, it's more you know, so fluid. It's more yeah, yeah. Well, you don't just have aircraft in one area. You don't no. have armor in just one area. No. So they're sort of spotted all over the place. There's always something to find. You know? Yeah. You might need to search. Oh, mm. I wonder where the gun plier is. Well, I found it up the other end. So what, what's a hot thing that's been selling? Because you're not just selling Gundams. You're selling no, all sorts of stuff. Gundams Plus. Plus is always the plus side. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. an aircraft modeler. Like here, 55 yeah? 55 years experience, you know. Um, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Yeah. But I've been finding this year it's been very even handed with my sales. Oh, really? It's been both sides of the equation. Yep. Uh, people look at the name. Yep. I think Gundam's Eye, oh, yeah, what's the plus? Yeah, well, yeah. it's all the conventional models. You yeah, want ships, yeah. sci fi cars, you know, oh, a couple of figures. Um, yeah. Basically, an aircraft, obviously. Yep. Uh, we've got pretty well most of what you're after. And yeah, yeah, cool. Tools, yeah. What, what, what is this thing? This is a bit of a. Okay, there's a bit of history in that. Is it? That's what we call the JB tool from the old Victorian hobby setup. Is it? Uh, basically, oh well. Wow. Eric used to have secondhand sales in the shop, and they'd take a commission. That was the tool that was used for the commissions. Oh, really? So I've kept a bit of the history. You'd be surprised. Some of the signs exist. Yeah. I even have some carpet. So um, carpet. I'm going to ask you what you're doing with that. that. The notorious carpet. Really? There's plans for a nice little framed um, memento oh, really? for the late Eric Sajeki. Uh, okay. So I've already talked to somebody about that, so they're right. planning for that. Oh, okay, wow, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Well, I think we'll leave you to it, so thanks again right. for talking thanks to guys, us. Thanks guys, as always. 
and we'll see you next year. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, no Daryl. Okay. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. All right, so we are at the SMS paint stand at Model Expo 2024. How's the Expo been for you? It's been really good, BJ. It's been yeah? It's, uh, one of the best ones we've had. Um, probably the biggest one we had was obviously the post-COVID one, but uh, this year's been actually phenomenal. It's right, okay. Super busy, lots of people, lots of real positive attitudes around the place. Yeah, Some good. really top models on the table. Yeah. Um, yeah, and lots of, as you can see, there's a lot of gaps in our stand. Yeah, so this would have been full when you first set up. It was shockers, yeah, we had every single colour, and you can see there's quite a, quite a bit missing. I think a lot of people are familiar with your paints now. You know, yeah. since we first interviewed, like, I don't know, it's gone back some years now. Yeah, it's been quite a while, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you've got your recent car specialist colours, which are getting yes. really popular. Yep, they've been very popular yeah, as well. Yeah, so they're like Ford and Holden yep, so specifics. Australian, yep, Australian factory colours to match Australian cars. We spoke yep. about it last time we did an interview. Yes, yes. Um, that's been quite, like kicking on quite nicely, so yep. that's been good. Yep. Um, it's been eight years since we started SMS. It's our anniversary last week. And yeah, well, congratulations. It's been, thank you. And it's been um, a year, literally this weekend, since we moved our factory to our, to our new purpose-built one. Yep. So we've been, yeah, we've been kicking goals and expanding quite rapidly. So it's yeah, been good. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, as you can see, the stand is pretty big, right? But you actually got more that than fits the stand. Yes. 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 Um, this is sort of the core range. Obviously, it's all the premiums, yep. metallics, color shift, and pearls. But we've also got the the autos and oh, um, the autos here. The yeah. autos in a separate stand, and we've yep. also got some more special colours like the Wildlife series, for which we're trying to tap into the taxidermy market, which does cross oh, over. Okay. Crosses over to the figure painters as well, yes. because they're nice browns and tans and shade, different shades. Oh, earthy, earthy um, tones. So yeah, so yeah. earthy tones that'll that'll cross over between what we do as modelers and what other people do like in the taxidermy industry. So right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Interesting. Interesting. And you've got like a specific colour that's only available at the show. Is that? Uh, yes. Sorry. Um, yes, um, we, we sold out. <laughs> oh, really? We, oh, we that, had, that, um, that it was a limited edition black grape pearl. Yep. Um, we did it specifically just for an event exclusive. I'll be having it at all the shows that we, we travel to for the rest of the year. So we're at Expo today. We'll have it at, Q, at Queensland at QMHE. It'll yep. be available at South Australia Model Expo in Adelaide yep. in September. Okay. Um, at Canberra and at Scale ACT in November. So the only way to get it is to come to the show and enjoy the shows. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. That's the old idea, idea is to yeah. get people to come and enjoy the shows, yes. support these yes. events, because without these events, what have we got? No, that's right, yeah. absolutely. No, that's a really good um, incentive you got there to get your special colour. No, Thank I really you. like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's, yeah, that's been very popular. So um, we sold out, the last of it went this morning. So yeah, uh, yeah okay. it's been very popular. Yeah, good. Now for people that haven't seen our interviews before, so your paint is specifically pre-mixed for airbrushing. Yes, so airbrush ready. Straight in. Yep, airbrush ready straight out of the bottle. All I need is a good shake, yeah. mix the pigment, settle pigment back in, yes. uh, pour it straight in the airbrush, spray it at 15 psi. Yeah, wow. Yep. It's good stuff, very easy to use, yes. and it's very, very popular. Yep, that's the yeah. whole idea behind it. Make it as easy as possible because we've all got busy lives. No, that's right. And we don't want to be mucking around trying to get thin rate, thin ratios right, we just want to paint. Yeah, good so stuff. So just pour it and spray it. Yeah, very good. Well, I'm glad it's been successful for you. Thank you. And thanks for speaking to us again. No worries, thanks, BJ. Cheers.